All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future. We have a donation deck here where we're going to be playing some best of one today. So we're doing something a little different for this video. We're playing uh, a best of one league, so no sideboard over here. And our deck is uh, pretty intense. We have tons of different cards in our deck, and I know it'll take a whole, like a really long time to try to explain everything that we're doing here. So we have uh, Spell Pierce that, uh, you know, interacts with the opponent, counters some spells. We have Chemistry's Insight that can draw some cards. And we have Persistent Petitioner. So 29 of these uh, Petitioners. Um, so this is our basically our, <laughs> our uh, one card in the deck here. So it's two mana, one, three, pay one, tap it, target player mills one card, or you can tap four advisors to have target player mill 12. So we are going to be trying to play a bunch of these and mill our opponent out. Hey, Tychorus. Um, then uh, we have like just a bunch of islands here um, that a, a couple people in, in the chat have said that this is maybe too many lands, but we're going to try it out. You know, like this is this was like the this is the number that we're donated by, and, and honestly, I don't really mind it. I like having I like having lands, but I know with like the algorithm for best of one, um, how it works, how it looks at like two hands and gives you one. Maybe we can cheat on a land, um, but we we certainly want to hit like four land drops. So I like twenty four because you want to hit four land drops because you want to be able to double spell with your petitioners on turn four. So, all right, I I don't know how this is, how this is going to go. Um, I could see this not doing too well. No idea. All right, constructed event. Okay, that's best of one. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be my first time to play persistent petitioners. <laughs> Don't go so fast. I'm trying to write down the deck list. <laughs> oh, I don't have the audio is not working. Oh, oh, that's right. Since the stream didn't work yesterday, I played like, um, I played like five matches yesterday of ranked and got up to gold. So we're we're at gold. I won four of the five, and we're at gold now. But I I uh, didn't have the volume on, so that's what. So that's why that volume was like that. <laughs> Deputy at attention against me would be so rude. Oh no, it's the O3 police. Oh no. Our, well, our hand is persistent. That's a good point. Our hand really is persistent. Hey, Taiga. Yeah, yesterday just... I don't know what was the deal with my internet yesterday, but it just didn't... It wasn't working for some reason. All right, hopefully we draw, hopefully draw a land here. I'm kind of glad we have 24 right about now because we really want to draw a land, drop double petitioner, and go from there. Uh oh, that could kill us. You, you. One card, all right. Their life total is now 50. Now life total is 49, it's going down. <laughs> Thanks, Crush. Yeah, like, had to, like, if we're gonna have 24 islands in, in our mono blue deck, we gotta make sure our island's pretty sweet, so. Got a good one here. Yeah, we have a four-turn clock with no removal. But that's what we got. Uh, uh, our opponent added mana and then didn't do anything with it. Oh, no, we may get there. 
Alright, we're gonna triple double block. So we're triple blocking, so you have to have a burn spell for like one of them. Alright. Mill one. Alright, life total is down to 48. Uh, if only we had more lands. So they're down to three cards in hand. That's not many cards. We got good defense here. It's kind of rude. All right, so if I mill 12, then I have to take three damage wise. Oh well. Doesn't really matter which one I, I counter. I could counter the lightning strike or the fight with fire here. Doesn't really matter. They both just kill a creature. Ooh, their life total is down to 35 now. River's Rebuke? Oh my gosh, that'd be rude. Alright, I'm certainly glad we have 24 lands. Kind of wish we had some more. <laughs> we could run a 250 card deck with of petitioners for the mirror. <laughs> uh, all right, so that puts us down to nine. If I tap all of these, we take. Uh, Three down to six. I don't think I have to do it. I think I could just mill him one. I think that, that three down to six, I think it's going to be harder for our opponent to kill us from nine. Like that's that's drawing um basically two cards there, uh, by tapping all my creatures because it puts it down to like three spells kill me from. Like if I take the damage, then then three spells kill me. Right now they need five spells to kill me, so we basically give our opponent. It's like, you know, it gives them two cards there. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly how it works, Talarin. Thanks, Talarin. Yeah, if you own four petitioners, you can add any number to your deck. Have we queued into an, an undergrowth deck? If you're going to block with one, you might as well block with all. It's like one of them's gonna take a damage. There's no reason to just block with one. All right, so they're down to 30. We're halfway through their life total, but we should be able to speed up quite a bit. They they have to cast four spells. Um, which is a lot of spells. Oh no. That's such a problem. Finally, a little... Just a little too late here. Double spelled a little too late. Hmm. 
Yeah, twenty is not big enough, is it? Let's let's make their dragon a little bigger. Their Drake. There's all their lands. Ah. Uh. Also, it turned out my 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 decision, um, which I, I liked at the time of. You know, just milling them one and not taking the damage that turned out to to kill us because we were one turn short then, and they, you know, because they had something that just dealt a whole lot of damage with that that uh, crackling Drake. Yeah, we kind of insta insta lose to Drakes, don't we? Make their dra their Drake so big. That was really close though. We got him down to four. Went from sixty to four. All right, I like it. That was pretty big how we didn't get to double spell. Didn't have enough lands that last game. Oh yeah, we could we play this in Popper? There is the popper event. Yeah, we could just be playing this in the popper event, couldn't we? That's a good good call, Mr. Expensive. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, we don't need to play Chemistry's Insight. We can play something else. We can play Chart of Course. Oh yeah, Opt. Oh, this is running pretty wild in Popper, really? Is this is this actually doing good in Popper? Can't even block that thing. Opponents, opponents kind of killing us. They had a good, good hand on the play though. Yeah, it's, that's a pretty good hand. One drop, and then, you know, double one drop, and then Steamkin. Hmm. It doesn't seem like we have a chance against Mono Red. I, I kind of agree with you. We're trying now. So Spear Spewer is going to do 3 damage on that other chapter of the Flame Akeld. And that thing deals 3. Our best draw is a p persistent petitioners in our deck, and we drew one of those. Oh, what is going on? It's only super. The game's super laggy suddenly. What is going on?
The stream is lagging too. Hmm. Let me see something here. Okay, speeds are still pretty good. Okay. Okay. Back to being better. All right, so 0 and 2. Hopefully we get faced against a slower deck. Okay, yeah. So that that was just a weird something weird happened with like the computer or something there. All right, we're gonna try we're gonna try to win a game here, Dirk. Um, we never get to be on the play. Being on the play seems like it's pretty important. Yeah, we're gonna be playing some Nia Legends today. Yeah, if we were on the play, we could spell pierce that Legion's landing. That would've been nice. And then get Petitioners down. Oh, we can just Spell Pierce this one. Still not so bad. Do they just have a one-lander? Wow. To have a one-lander in this format where it looks at two hands... No. Definitely Jelly Tug. Yeah, it's going to be a good stream today. All right, so the uh, Tithe Taker means I need to activate this right now because it would cost an, an extra mana to activate it during their turn. Well, good news is is we got rid of History Banalia because History Banalia is an, an awesome card. Uh, the bad news is they don't have the three mana to, to, uh, to cast History Banalia. Wonder if I should just cast Insight this turn. Yeah, I think I just want to cast Insight this turn. As long as they don't get like three mana, because all the things they could do that, that really wreck us are at three mana. Uh, I guess Venerate Luxodon. Never mind. And they got Venerate Luxodon. Never mind, that wrecks us. Yeah, this is going to be too aggressive. You face this deck a lot today? Uh, I decked you out when they had one health. Uh, yeah, this isn't... This isn't going to work. That Tithe Taker ruining my spell pierce here. All right, so kind of not surprisingly, we got completely ran over by aggro decks. We got 20 gems, though, so there we go. Um, maybe let's try this deck in the popper event. You know, we've only been playing it for, you know, like 20 minutes here. Let's try, Let's try throwing it in the popper event. So we don't want chemistry's insight. So what's another? What's a common? 
that can help us draw. So we can have opt as an option, radical idea, Yeah, does divination? I think I like divination. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like divination. We don't get to cast like the second part, but it costs costs one less to begin with. So we really should be playing two hundred and fifty cards for the mirror. In Popper. Eh. Duba Hyrule with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream, Duba. Yeah, tomorrow will be 3 o'clock Eastern. Rage. So basically, like this time, you know, so like 20 minutes ago. Oh, Seeker of the Golden City is better. You're right. Awesome, Rage. Yeah, Dark. Um, I actually just kind of waited it out and, and saw later, like later on in the evening you know, kind of retested it, and, and then I was I was up a, a few hours ago because I was, you know, checking it today also. If it didn't work today, I was going to be calling them, like, before the stream, you know, a couple hours ago, but my upload speeds were back to where they were supposed to be of, like, you know, around 30 instead of 3, like it was yesterday. Yeah, I can do, I can do the deck list now, Rage. Yeah, you can just... Set it my way now, and I'll just save it for tomorrow. No, I'm wearing a vest today because it's a little cold. And so felt like wearing a vest. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How'd this weekend go? I guess not super well because you're here in the stream today. You're not. You're not the open. All right, John to graveyard. All right, so down to forty nine. And the the divination works here, where we can draw to because it's only three mana. We get to draw to, and cast a petitioner's next turn. That was a big land pocket right there. Six lands in a row and then six spells. So our 12 cards were <laughs> half and half. Six land, six spell. Yeah, this is working better in Popper when the opponent's decks aren't as good. I made a mid-range Grixis Bolas deck today, adding Terramander into the deck. I truly believe it's got potential because I'm doing quite well. That's there you go, Dark Sith. That looks that sounds pretty good. Alright, mill him for another twelve. And this time it was four lands and then eight spells. It's weird the lands are always together, then all the spells are together. 
out of all those, it's there's not there hasn't been like you know, it's just just groups. Yeah, you know, like these two cards they cast. Well, the rest of those are groups. Weird. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and chump block here. Um, with them using that pump spell, I think it's probably worth it. Alright, we just gotta kill them. We have one turn to kill them. Or like next turn they're dead. So we tap the two things they're targeting. Yeah, it's two lands in a row. It's weird. It was never spell, land, spell anywhere. Huh. That's pretty weird. Alright, they're at nine. Should be able to mill them out next turn. And there we go. Yeah, yet again there. There wasn't a single time in their entire deck where it was um, either land, spell, land, or spell, land, spell. They're always grouped in at least two. Okay, this is working better. Restarted the league in the popper. And I already got a win. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're probably pretty bad at shuffling. That's, that's what it is. Jilt. Hey, what's up, JRC? Yeah, the stream's working a little better today. It's possible. Maybe, yeah, it's, maybe it just takes the, like, the 12 cards and then just sorts them land spell before putting them into the graveyard. That's kind of weird, but I guess it's possible that's, that's the case. Or is just like, you know, that one deck, you know, randomly had that happen to him. Now we need we need some more lands here so we can start triple double spelling. Um I could certainly see a ritual of set here coming up. I think I just wanna just pass the turn and I'll just mill him too. Alright, the spell pierce got oh wait. They can't play ritual of set. This is popper. What am I talking about? This is popper. I I should have double blocked here, by the way. But our our opponent let us kill that. Yeah, I should have double blocked there. <laughs> yeah, I guess I probably don't need to worry about ritual of set now. Forgot we're playing popper. Uh where are these lands? Times you gotta attack. Take one. At least they're help helping us out here with all these card draw effects. Is there any card destroying enchantments in a Grixis deck? No. That's the problem with Grixis. The best thing the best thing you have is Best thing you have is uh
um, dispersal. There we go. Dispersal is the best best option you have. Which is, you know, the second half of Discovery. Or yeah, blink of an eye. I guess that yeah, that's another one too. Like yeah, you have like some you can have bounce effects. Yeah. Metamorph with our with a tier one sub. Thank you so much for that support, Metamorph. Glad to have you here. Alright, sub number two on day. Maybe I should stop blocking. Oh, thanks, Metamorph. Thanks for the kind words. Maybe I should stop blocking. Seems like all these removals are like minus two, minus two, and stuff like that. Alright, mill 12. They're at 36 right now. They're going to go down to 24. That one also had land, land, and then all these things, and then a land. That was a whole lot of spells, though. That's pretty good for us. Alright, and we got rid of a flyer. That's good. And opponent picks him up. Alright, persistent petitioners. Popper. Uh, Popper standout. Popper staple. We are 2-0 now. Can't... Can't do much better than that. Yeah, that's that's what I was that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's certainly possible that whenever you mass mill, it just kind of groups the cards together afterwards. Because um, it does seem kind of unlikely that they just had six lands, six spells like that other time. So, yeah, that's possible. That's okay, Dark Sip. Yeah, Nexus is. Nexus is kind of a, a tough deck to play against. Who is they, Mr. Expensive? When you said, I think they are petitioning for Nexus getting banned. Who is this they? I don't think Nexus will get banned, but... I mean, I, I wouldn't mind if it was banned. I, I would... I'd probably be uh, just ha just fine with that. But I don't think it'll happen.
Alright, we've got some three power creatures. Which is... Not too good for us. We don't like to see three power. I can double block and trade uh, petitioners for... Um, I could trade a petitioners for the Thalid. They get a 1-1, one, one, which doesn't matter. Um, but I, th I don't think we need to do that yet. I could see that doing that here, though. Let's see, so right now they have a three-turn clock, and I have more than a three-turn clock, so I'm kind of behind. So I think, yeah, I think we might as well block one of these, have one of our petitioners die. Um... And we still have a backup. And of course, quadruple blocking in case they had a removal spell or two removal spells. Um, so we make sure to kill their 3 2. Alright, I th I th I'm thinking that that's what they're doing. They're just. Because that was seven seven lands and five spells. It has to just be rearranging the mass milling into spells and lands. That's got to be what's going on. Yeah, I can play mono blue. I, I've i only played mono blue one time on stream. It was before Ravnica Allegiance, and we actually went 5-0 with it. Um... That's the only time I played mono blue, but yeah, that's certainly a deck I can play. Hey, what's up, Robert? Robert with that Twitch Prime sub. Getting in the subs today. Thank y'all so much. All right, and that gets us to sub number three on the day. And... Over here still says 98 for now. That isn't updated. They'd have to have a pretty expensive spell for. All right, I'm just gonna just gonna try to trade here. We don't we don't have four. I don't want to sit here and take three all the time. They'd have to have a pretty expensive spell for these spell pierces to do anything. All right, so I think they're killing the summoning sick petition petitioners. Yeah. So we didn't need to actually activate our petitioners yet because that one's summoning sick. Um, yeah. Just let that happen. Do you prefer the four color or four color gates deck? The four color what? Broken controllers. What's the first part of that? The four color discard? I think probably the four color discard. I'm guessing, but I'm not sure what your question is there. Oh, you meant three. Okay. Um, I prefer the three color myself. All right, we get to double spell pierce something. <laughs> hey, thanks, James. Yeah, no problem. Um, but yeah, for the person that asked if I can play mono blue earlier, I certainly can play it, but it's not a deck I plan on playing. Um... But if that's if that's a deck you'd like me to see, if you'd like to donate to to see that deck, I would. You know, I can play the deck, um, but it's it's not one that is going to be in the rotation. All right, so our opponent's at twenty-seven. It says twenty right here, but really their life total is twenty-seven. now 25 
don't think they have like two removal spells with the, their two mana. So I'm not sure what that attack was all about. Okay, so they're just gonna kill one thing. We have to just kill their two twos though. We can't just sit back and you know take two all the time. <laughs> all right, good draw. They're down to 22. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, mono blue is a cheap deck. That's that is true. Hmm. I think I'll take this. I think we can take this three. And uh, hopefully draw our fourth petitioner. Nice. They're at 18. Hopefully none of our petitioners die. <laughs> All right. Petitioner is getting there in popper. No, there's no sideboard for this deck, because uh, doing just the best of one, um, so there's no sideboard. And we're playing this in Popper now, so we changed the Chemister's Insights to be Divinations here in the Popper. But I can edit this. All right, so Popper, best of one. There, I just edited, edited that on Stream Decker. So why block the 1-1 one, one when it will become a 2-2? Two, two? Because I don't want to take the 1 damage. And uh, the difference between a 1-1 one, one and a 2-2 two, two when you have 1-3s is basically nothing. And so I just don't want to take the damage. <laughs> just have 15 more petitioners in the sideboard. Um, oh wait, I, I could have just played a petitioners and I didn't? Oh, sorry, I was looking at the chat, sorry. Should I just play the petitioners there? I don't know why I was thinking I was on the draw. And they're like, my opponent played their second land and I... Still even on the draw, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't play that. I guess they had like the, their first land out, so I thought I was playing my first. Where's my second? <laughs> yeah, the mill deck's working out pretty well so far. Why does that random white common combo trick have to have a better am animation than Revel and Riches? I know, right? Revel and Riches has no animation, and this like random common combat trick has an animation. So Twilight Panther would, would like normally be pretty annoying because like that death touch means like I don't want to block it. But since they don't have black mana, we don't have to worry about the death touch. King Julian, thanks for subbing there. Let's say, uh, past attackers. Thanks, King Julian. Yeah, there's there's the deck list right there, but it's just a bunch of bunch of persistent petitioners. So that's four subs on the day, down to 97 now. Ooh, got me. 
Got a 5-2. Five 5-2s two. Five are big. Yeah, yeah, you've seen people in, in Popper going full 250 because of these petitioners. Oh, yeah. That's like Dark said, that's like kind of what we're going to be doing later on with the four color discard. That's a, it's a Teferi and Nicol Bolas deck. <laughs> Can't have no Clarions in Popper, thankfully. All right, let's do some block in. All right, your attacking creature gets plus two, plus zero until end turn. Fine. All right, so we lose three creatures. But we still have the four. They're at 23, so we can mill them over two turns. So they have like this turn to kill us, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's that's our that's gonna be that's our deck that we have later on. It has it's Grixis with white for. Mortify, Kaya's Wrath, and uh, Teferi. And of course, Kaya's Wrath's not the easiest card to splash. We're basically just splashing red for Nicol Bolas and Angrath. That's the only red cards in the deck. And that's game. Man, Petitioners... Petitioners and Popper are doing really good. And there we go. Four and O? We're gonna five O this Popper event? What do we so what we got we have our money back now our 250 gold back and we get a rare so if we win this we only get an extra 50 gold in a rare <laughs> yeah the final boss could be a mirror that's what somebody was saying that that like with this deck we should just be playing 250 cards with the petitioners uh for mirrors Yeah, it has bad EV, but so cheap it doesn't really matter. And you know, if you if you can get any of your cards upgraded to rares, I guess it's it's a pretty pretty cheap way to gain rares in your collection too. Now, once you have four um, four petitioners in your in your collection, then you can add as many as you want to your deck, so you don't have to use like 140 wild cards on petitioners or whatever. Oh yeah, rat colony. I can see rat colony being popular. Uh-oh, this really is a mirror. All right, at least they're at 52. We're facing the mirror. Should have gone with the 250 card strat. So they're at 51, we're at 51. Oh, they don't have lands though. 
they just have counter magic? Really? Alright, well, I guess I need to play my land for Spell Pierce. I got syncopated. We're still going to be doing just fine because we have lands, our opponent doesn't. This is why you play 24 lands. Yeah, we're going with the vest today. We got a hype stream. Absolutely. Let's draw one more petitioners here. Let's draw another one. There we go. And there we go. We got to four four of them first to be able to mill. And we got the win. 5-0 Persistent Petitioners. Let's call this Popper Petitioners. So it's Popper. There we go. And we get a pack for that? Wow. Now we just got the weekly pack. Uh, only one rare. And our rare is 20 gems. So, got some gems. Yeah, those are all pretty easy. Man, so that that took like 30 minutes to go 5-0. That's pretty fast. So if you want to wanna play some, some best of one, popper, get a rare in like 30 minutes. There you go. Um, give give this a try. This one this worked really well. Uh, you know you you could of course add in a bunch of cards if you if like mirror matches do come up and everything. Um, that's something you, you can certainly do. Is just add in tons and tons of of cards. Keep it like 40% of the deck lands. And then the rest petitioners. And there you go. Ox, what do you... No, so I mean, we just... All right, so we just had four petitioners in play because of this ability. That's what I was talking about. So this ability says... The second ability, tap four advisors. Um, yeah. So that's so we had four of them in play before our opponent, so we got to mill twelve, so we got to mill out our opponent fast. Okay, so there we go. So that's pers persistent petitioners. Um, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. See you for the next video. Got a lot of other cool decks on today. So hope to see you in a little bit.